And for more now on the notice issued for former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner, we're joined now by journalist Harabi Frazier from CCN TV6 in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks so much for joining us to start. Jack Warner was charged in the U.S. investigation last week. Authorities arrested him. He then posted bail. So what's the significance of him now being named by Interpol? Well, it is very significant. It means, Cody, that there are, there are several international police services that are going to be on the lookout for Jack Warner. Not that he can travel anywhere, per se, because he has had to surrender his passport as part of the, uh, as one of the conditions of his, uh, his detainment or his staying in Trinidad, and that's part of the bail arrangement that was made for him here in Trinidad and Tobago. So the U.S. authorities want him, and he's on high alert, high alert rather, for anyone else that might see him from any other police service around the world should he travel. And do we know what the procedures for, for Jack Warner to be extradited to the United States will be? How will that process be, be carried out? Well, first of all, it's a very long process. And the reality is that we will not see, I am sure, we will not see any action in terms of him leaving Trinidad and Tobago anytime soon. The U.S. authorities since last Wednesday, when he surrendered himself to the police, have 60 days to, to formally put the extradition request forward. And the TNT court system and uh, judicial system will, through the mutual legal assistance treaties, hand them over to the U.S. authorities. But apart from that, the Jack Warner also to, to challenge the, and appeal the extradition, which he, I'm sure, will do once it comes up officially. All right, thanks so much for joining us from Trinidad and Tobago. Come